The MTA always advises us, if you see something, say something. One MTA worker said he did just that, exposing safety issues on the trains. And now he says the agency is trying to suspend him for it. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. No mask here. This video from April is one of several that train operator Yen Hicks has been tweeting, tagging managers and politicians since the start of the pandemic. I realized that we were in a lot of trouble. Dozens of his fellow employees died from COVID-19, and it's visuals like these that helped pressure the state and city to require masks and institute overnight subway closures for cleaning. But the shop steward was notified by the MTA last month he's facing a 30-day suspension in connection to this tweet last month and this video that he says he took after cops allegedly ignored his request to stop a woman with a shopping cart, which is against transit rules. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. The same day the MTA blocked his Twitter account, the agency notified him he violated a rule of posting adverse criticism of the NYPD and NYCT while not on an authorized break or in a crew room and not reporting the violation to the Railroad Control Center. I was on an authorized break. If we called in everything we see, we'd be on the radio all day. We asked the MTA if anyone would speak with us on camera about this. Instead, a spokesperson emailed us a statement that said Hicks was using his phone on duty, which is against company rules. The union is backing up Hicks, calling on the MTA to drop the suspensions. The bigger issue is the one that Hicks is trying to expose. And there is still a homeless population that is not being properly taken care of. Um, and we're seeing more and more. Attorney Jason Clark believes Hicks' efforts to advocate for the public should protect him. There is certainly a First Amendment right. And, you know, as a public employee, you don't actually give up that right. I'm not causing a ruckus. I'm trying to show the ruckus. I'm a passenger. I'm an employee. I'm a citizen. All I want is an orderly subway. He says with the second wave coming, he hopes others aren't afraid to say something if they see something, because he certainly won't stop in Astoria, Queens. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.